Hello there, my name is Dr. Jim Collins. This week, my topic is on aging and anxiety. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, around 40 million Americans suffer anxiety disorders at one point in their lives. Although many anxiety disorders begin during the adolescent and teen years, it is now widely accepted that anxiety disorders are highly prevalent among older adults in the United States. As a matter of fact, older women experience anxiety more than older men do. Now this is interesting. Anxiety is twice as prevalent in the elderly population, which makes it the single most common mental health problem among seniors. I would have assumed it was depression. Can anxiety be missed by physicians, family, and friends? Unfortunately, the answer to this question is yes. Physicians who see and treat older patients might miss the signs and symptoms of anxiety and simply brush them off as normal aging or perhaps another disorder. If anxiety is not being diagnosed, it's not being treated and that can really affect quality of life. Family and friends can also miss signs and symptoms and consider it just natural and normal. Normal part of aging. Still worse, there are individuals who think that older seniors with anxiety can just snap out of it. Stop your excessive worrying. Don't be afraid. Don't be nervous. It's that simple. Well, it's not that simple. They also miss the accompanying physical problems that anxiety can worsen, like chest pain, headaches, gastrointestinal issues, or sweating without any physical exertion. That's kind of short and sweet, but I do have a lengthier article. If you'd like to read it, please follow the link below to Aging and Anxiety. And if you'd like to take some CEUs, on this topic and many others like it, follow the link to CEU Academy. Until next time, my name's Dr. Jim Collins. Be well.